subscribe our channel eFinance Management and click on the bell icon to get update on new videos. Today we are going to explain leverage and types of leverage. Leverage is a practice which can help a business drive up its gains or losses. In business language, if a firm has fixed expenses in P&L account or debt in capital structure, the firm is said to be levered. Nowadays, almost no business is away from leverage but, very few have struck a balance. In finance, leverage is very closely related to fixed expenses. We can safely state that, by the introduction of expenses which are fixed in nature, we are leveraging a firm. By fixed expenses, we refer to the expenses, the amount of which remains unchanged irrespective of the activity of the business. For example, an amount of investment made in fixed assets or interest paid on loans does not change with a normal change in a number of sales. Neither they decrease with a decrease in sales and nor they increase with an increase in sales. Types of Leverage There are two types of leverage, Financial Leverage and Operating Leverage. Financial Leverage Financial leverage is a leverage created with the help of debt component in the capital structure of a company. Higher the debt, higher would be the financial leverage because, with higher debt comes the higher amount of interest that needs to be paid. Leverage can be both good and bad for a business depending on the situation. If a firm is able to generate a higher return on investment than the interest rate it is paying, leverage will have its positive effect shareholders return. The darker side is that, if the said situation is opposite, higher leverage can take a business to a worse situation like bankruptcy. Operating leverage, operating leverage, just like the financial leverage, is a result of operating fixed expenses. Higher the fixed expense, higher is the operating leverage. Like the financial leverage had an impact on the shareholders return or say earnings per share, Operating leverage directly impacts the operating profits, profits before interest and taxes, PBIT. Under good economic conditions, due to operating leverage, an increase of 1% in sales will have more than 1% change in operating profits. So, you need to be very careful in adding any of the leverages to your business viz. Financial leverage or operating leverage as it can also work as a double-edged sword. Advantages of higher leverage. Take operating leverage, the operating profits can see a sharp increase with a small change in sales as most parts of the expenses are stagnant and cannot further increase with sales. Likewise, if we consider financial leverage, the earnings share of each shareholder will increase significantly with an increase in operating profits. Here, higher the degree of leverage, higher will be the percentage increase in operating profits and earnings per share. Disadvantages of higher leverage Leverage inherits the risk of bankruptcy along with it. In the case of operating leverage, fixed expenses extend the break-even point for a business. Break-even means the minimum activity, sales, required for achieving no loss or no profit situation. Financial leverage increases the minimum requirement of operating profits to meet with the expense of interest. In any case, if the required activity level not achieved, bankruptcy or cash losses become certain. Looking at the pros and cons of leverage, it seems that a balance is required between the rewards and risks associated with leverage. The degree of leverage should not be too high which invites the bankruptcy and on the contrary, it should not be too low that we lose out on the benefits and the viability of a business itself comes under question. Thank you. Please. Subscribe, like, and share our video.